Okay, so last time we covered the uh, inverse tangent function, arc tan or tan minus one. Uh, but there's three trig ratios, or certainly three major trig ratios. We've got sine, we've got cosine, and we've got tangent. Sarcator. So uh, we've done this one. Uh, I'll try the sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So again, what normally happens, again, writing it all out in standard format here, just put that there. That's theta, that's opposite that's hypotenuse that's adjacent sine theta because opposite over hypotenuse and what we've done up to now is we've known theta but what I'm going to do is give you an example where we don't know theta um, so if I given you a triangle like this I might say that the hypotenuse that's a right angle there that's theta we don't know what theta is that might be 5.1 and that might be 2.6 let's say so we know that sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Whoops. Yep, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So sine... Uh, I'll just pinch that in a bit. So sine theta, in this case, is equal to 2.6 over 5.1, which equals 2.6 over 5.1, 0.51, let's say. 0.51. So sine theta equals 0.51. What does that tell us? Well, we can find a value of theta with sine theta equals 0.51. Well, let me try. Let me try to do that. Let me try and solve this equation by hand. 0.51, eh? So I'm going to guess that theta is 40 degrees. Take the sine of it. That's 0.64, that's too big. So 40 is too big. Let's try 20. We're looking for 0 0.51, 0 0.34. We get 0 0.34, so that's too small. So 20 is too small. Look, it says here, sign 20. 20 is too small because it's 0 0.34. We're looking for 0 0.51. Let's try 30. That's not 0.5 exactly. So sine of 30 is 0 0.5. That's a little bit too small. Let's try 31 degrees. 0.515. That's too big. Look. So we've gone too far. So maybe 30.5 degrees. 30 and a half degrees. 507. See, I could play games like this all day. What I'm really trying to do is to, what I want to do is to use the inverse sine function. So 0 0.51 and then inverse sine. Inverse sine. 30.66. So when I said 30.5, that's not too bad. So that tells me that the theta equals arc sine 0.51, which equals 30. Point, what was it? 6? 30.66. 30 30.66 degrees. Uh, yeah, again, sometimes you'll see it written theta equals sine to the minus 1 of 0.51. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes you see that notation, but uh, arc sine's a lot clearer, I think. Uh, there you go. Uh, and of course, if I take the sine of this, I should get back to 0 0.51, so we better check. It's there, isn't it? Sine, bonk, 0.51. Sweet. Brilliant. I'm going to stop there. Stop, stop, stop.